No, I built agentic systems before. I'm able to do that without using foundational agents. So I'm not quite sure what the differentiation is there, but uh, they evidently think there's going to be one. A Amazon Bedrock, Agent Core. Agent Core is not anything new. Production ready agent platform. And Agent Core added policy preview for natural language guardrails on agent actions. My, my big concern there, what were you using before? In other words, you should never uh, release an, an, a, a, a gen, an AI agent without uh, heavy governance around them. I guess they're doing governance within the code sets. And so I always assumed that uh, Agent Core had some governance that was associated with it. Evidently not, because they're releasing, you know, kind of the first, uh, first editions of that now are basically able to make it more formalized. It's probably a better way to put it. I'm sure they had some sort of a governance systems in there, but it was a bit more custom than some of the policy stuff that's in there. Evaluations of continuous behavior monitoring, you know, 13 dimensions, richer, you know, memory, episodic learning, all that kind of stuff, agents, agents, agents. And then the next would be AWS AI factories for on-prem and sovereign AI infrastructures. And it's able to deliver a dedicated AI infrastructure, including NVIDIA GPUs, training M chips, uh, networking AI services like Bedrock and SageMaker uh, deployed directly into a customer's own data center. So this would be, you know, doing this stuff on-prem which would be interesting. And I think what's happening now is that uh, AWS is feeling the pressure that they're going to have to be a bit more flexible in how they run on different customer environments. In many cases, customers are going to want to run stuff in their own data centers, uh, you know, private cloud instances of AWS, things like that.